Today, I am at a pond. We are going to learn all about pond life today. A pond is a body of water that is smaller than a lake. Some ponds are formed naturally by rainwater or snow that is melted. And some ponds are even made by underwater springs. Other ponds like this one are man-made. That means that someone decided they wanted a pond on their land. And they filled it up and created a pond to enjoy. There are lots of reasons why they would maybe want to help support the wildlife or have picnics by it or go fishing or just use it as decoration. There are two types of ponds. There's permanent and temporary ponds. Those are big words. Can you say them with me? Permanent and temporary. Permanent ponds last all year long, whereas temporary ponds only last for part of the year and only a few seasons. And most of those usually dry up in the summer when it's really hot out. So temporary ponds mean that it's only part of the year. This pond is here all year long and it's permanent. Ponds support all kinds of animals and wildlife. This pond has lots of deer that visit and drink fresh water from it. And there's lots of fish in here that you can go fishing and ducks and beaver and some ponds have swans that like to swim and enjoy the pond too. But the majority of animals that make up the pond life are insects and amphibians such as spiders and dragonflies and butterflies and turtles, and all kinds of different types of frogs. Ponds are found in many different types of habitats, such as woods, or forest, grassland, and countryside, and on farmlands, and at people's homes, and in their yard. They might live right beside a pond, although some ponds can be safe like this one and you can swim and even take a canoe and, and paddle boats and enjoy the water. Some ponds aren't very safe at all and they can be very dangerous. Most of those are from the southeastern part of the United States. You know what lives in those? Alligators! Alligators, yes! I said that right. Alligators! You know, you remember the big claws? I like to chomp. Alligators live in those and it can be very dangerous. Don't ever go there without your grown up. Definitely don't go swimming in those. But this pond is nice and safe, alligator free. In the northern climates and the cold winter seasons, the pond freezes solid so much that it turns to ice. And you can go ice skating and do all kinds of other cool winter sports on it. A beaver lives on this pond. Let's see if we can go find its home that it's made. A beaver chewed this tree all the way down 
and used it to build a home by the pond. Some areas of the pond are a little swampy, but that's where lots of algae and frogs and other insects and amphibians love to live, especially plants. And right here, see lots of beautiful plants that are growing even in the middle of the water right here. They love the direct sunlight that helps them to grow. There are a lot of plants that live at the pond. There's a dragonfly right now. what it's looking for. Do you hear all those crickets and the frogs? I don't see any ducks out today. I see some lily pads right down there. I wonder if some, I see some there's some dragonflies. fun things that you can do at the pond. And one of those is have a picnic by the pond. Some ponds like this one has a picnic table by it. And you can bring your food and you can enjoy your food by the pond. Even if there's no picnic table, you could bring a blanket or chairs or just find a spot to sit down and enjoy some food and watch all the wildlife and enjoy a nice day at the pond. Another fun thing to do at the pond is to go paddle boating. This is a paddle boat. Paddle boats don't have motors on them. So in order to help them to move, you have to use your feet. It has paddles sort of like a bicycle has pedals. And you use your feet and your legs to pump and help it to move. And it has this steering wheel right here in the middle to help steer it. It's so much fun to go paddle boating. And a pond is a great place to go paddle boating. Another thing that you can do at the pond is you can go fishing. If you have a fishing pole, you can go fishing at the pond. I wonder if you can catch anything. We have learned so much about ponds today. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for blessing us with ponds to enjoy and all that we can learn from ponds. Help us to let our light shine for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. 
I hope you have a blessed day and let your light shine for Jesus.